Hi, this is Crystal from Homestead Odyssey. I wanted to share a video that I made about a year ago for a college course I was taking. For that class, the assignment was to either write a paper or make a movie about how and why work is important to you and your family. The reason why I wanted to share this video is I feel like it kind of gives you a background of our family and how we got to where we are today, and I just thought you guys might find it interesting. Remember to like our videos and to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date on the things we're up to. And have a great day! My husband and I have the goal to become as self-reliant as we can. Over the last couple of years, with a lot of hard work and determination, our family has come a long way in this goal. After we were married, we worked on building our food storage. We hoped to do more, but with small apartments, we were limited to container gardening. In 2015, we bought our house and our new journey began. The previous homeowners hadn't done much with the large yard. The yard was overrun with weeds. We picked a spot to be our garden and got to work. We weeded, laid down a weed barrier, applied compost, and fenced the area off. The next big job was transforming an old rusty shed into a chicken coop. Many hours were spent hauling garbage and weeds. Then I spent even more time adding doors, windows, and fencing around the coop. During this work we were given some free ducks from a woman in town. We had never planned on having ducks so we had to do some quick research on how to care for them. We built an incubator and hatched three baby chicks. We still have these hens today. While working on all these other projects, we kept working on our garden as well, and it was growing. We also received some adult chickens from a family moving out of town. This gave us eggs since our new baby chicks wouldn't lay until the next year. The fall and winter were spent eating our little bit of produce from our garden, enjoying eggs and canning fruit bought in bulk. As winter came, the work did not stop. We had to haul water one bucket at a time for the animals, along with feeding them every day. We had big plans for 2016, but before we could get going on any new projects, we had to do the big and not fun task of cleaning out the chicken coop. At this point, my oldest son was really starting to help me a lot with the animals. My younger boys enjoyed helping with the fun parts of feeding and collecting eggs, but my oldest son was starting to join me in the not so fun jobs as well. With the coop clean, we worked on the garden and expanded the chicken run with a temporary fence. It wasn't pretty, but it was what we could afford at the time. My husband built an awning in front of the chicken coop to reduce the snow buildup over winter. One of our new adventures was having one of our hens hatch a clutch of chicks and ducklings. We sold the babies and used the money to help pay for feed. Our garden did a little better this year. Our new fruit trees even gave us some apples. My husband took on the challenge to build a wood shed. A lot of the fall was spent chopping and stacking wood. The hens thought the wood pile was a great place to hide their eggs from us. By the end of 2016, we were getting an abundance of eggs as well as some meat for our meals. We had even bigger plans for 2017. Along with those plans came the snow and cold. Back to the hard work of carrying buckets of water, shoveling snow, and feeding the animals. My oldest son, who really loved taking care of the animals by now, decided to join 4-H and wanted to expand his knowledge on poultry. He decided to raise ducklings, chickens, and turkeys for fair. We let the babies grow in the house until they were big enough to move outside, but knew before they moved we had to build a new fence. The winter before, our new dog had killed several birds because they had escaped the fence. If we wanted to stop the losses, we needed to put forth a lot of work and make a secure area for the animals. While we expanded the run, we also added another fenced-in garden next to the shed. The animals continued to grow as we worked hard to care for their needs. All the new birds meant we were going through a lot more food. To help with the increased costs, we started selling our extra eggs at the farmer's market and selling the birds we no longer needed. This helped a lot with the expenses of raising the birds. In the spring, we added a beehive. We didn't think the bees would take a lot of work, but found like everything else they did. I had to plan by weekly checks on the hive and feed them frequently. The yard and garden still needed a lot of work through the warm months of the year. Now all my boys were helping more with the endless lists of jobs. For some reason our garden didn't produce as much as the years before. We hoped to do some research to figure out how to help it. The fall was spent again gathering wood and chopping it for the winter. We benefited from many warm fires already this year. My oldest son took his animals to fair. 
He had an amazing experience and earned many ribbons for all his hard work. He was able to sell his turkey for a good amount of money and is already making plans for new animal adventures next year. We truly have been blessed in many ways because of our hard work towards our goal to provide more for ourselves. We have physically been blessed with produce from our garden, eggs and meat from our birds, and warm fires. An even greater blessing we have seen is our children learning that hard work can help you achieve your goals. And